those responses to date have really been inadequate. That's the state auditor blasting the San Diego Sheriff's Department for the number of inmates dying in county jails. Now, county leaders are calling on the state to pass new laws to force reforms. ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky shows where experts are calling for improvement and the steps the acting sheriff says are already being taken. County supervisors called Tuesday's briefing about deaths in county jails eye-opening. The presentation today, I think, uh, sheds light on a persistent and deeply troubling issue. When people are in our custody, we have a moral obligation to make sure that uh, they don't die. Those comments from supervisors Nora Vargas and Joel Anderson came after a report from California's acting state auditor, Mike Tilden. He didn't pull any punches. The officers would conduct these cursory checks every hour on the hour, and then four or five hours later, somebody would realize that you had an individual that was unresponsive and had actually died hours before, but nobody noticed. Many inmates in need of care don't get treated promptly. They didn't get connected to uh, doctors promptly, and in a couple of cases, they ended up dying before they received any follow-up care. Tilden also said the San Diego Sheriff's Department fails to follow best practices in many areas. Instead, following bare minimum guidelines set by the state, it's a criticism acting Sheriff Kelly Martinez says she takes seriously. It was very uh, direct, very honest, and I embrace the findings of that audit. Martinez was named acting sheriff last month and says she can't speak for previous administrations. However, she says she plans to act on the audit recommendations, including better mental health care for inmates and body cameras on jail deputies. A lot of it makes sense. Our jails should be as safe as possible. We should have the best health care possible for the individuals who are in our custody. And that's my intention. Martinez says the county budget already includes new positions for mental health staff in jails. However, worker shortages are making those positions hard to fill. County supervisors also say more resources will be needed to make the recommended changes and that many of those resources and new guidelines must come from state law. The board voted unanimously Tuesday to send a letter to Sacramento supporting new legislation. Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. And according to the audit, 185 inmates have died in county jails in the past 15 years. Martinez is running for the sheriff's position in November.